New Contemporaries is the leading UK organisation that supports emerging and early career artists as they successfully transition from education into professional practice. This is primarily through an open submission exhibition and a range of professional development opportunities that includes mentoring, residencies and studio bursaries. The New Contemporaries 2023 selection has been presided over by three international artists, Heather Philipson, Sunil Gupta and Helen Kamak, who selected these artists from 1900 applications. One of the things that's really stood out to me this year is um, the kind of breadth of the themes, topics, intents and ideas um, in the work submitted. So we kind of move from gender identity to climate chaos, um, but we also have themes of conflict, violence, love, desire. Um, so it feels like a range of mediums, but also a real diverse um, set of ideas that people are wanting to have dialogues about. I'd say that there's a tendency in the selected works towards giving space to marginalised and overlooked communities. There are many politically and emotionally fraught works, but equally there are works of smaller, more tender gestures and interiors. New Contemporaries exhibition project is one of the very few that students or recent graduates are able to apply for, and it's a very important uh, first step in their career because most curators and galleries really expect the artists to be out of college uh, a couple of years before they'll even consider them. The New Contemporaries gives you an opportunity to exhibit in a very professional way up and down the country to quite a wide audience. We had a huge amount of moving image work, um, but also painting. And I think that says something about how people are thinking about using different kinds of mediums, particularly moving image at the moment. Um, one of the things that has also struck me is that we have had hardly any ceramic work, um, no glass work, um, and that says something to me about perhaps the state of um, our education in terms of closures, in terms of which courses are smaller. So one of the things we've tried to do is make sure that we have some kind of a representation of the different kinds of mediums that people are using. The two most obvious and unusual things about the new contemporary selection process is that it's without any kind of age limit and that the selectors look at every work. Every work. For those that get selected, it's a chance to stage a public show beyond the safety of the institution at an embryonically professional level, maybe for the first time. To see your work as somehow representing what's going on in and coming out of art schools at the moment is a pretty wild honour. Obviously, it can also bring your work some attention, but I think that matters less than the opportunity to be part of a whole different cohort, a moment. And even for those that don't get selected, there are other kinds of value in the experience. The process of preparing work for submission, getting it looked at, dealing with the knockback, persevering, all good practice for the brutal realities of being an artist. It's important for us also to acknowledge and to say that, you know, this isn't a best of in the country, this is not the best work necessarily, but it's meant to be a kind of representation of what we've seen in terms of the submissions. And we are artists, there's something really special about, I think, artists selecting other artists' work, but that also means that we have a subjective voice and a, a subjective gaze in doing so and so that means there will be particular ways that we are looking at work, particular ways that we're engaging with, seeing, understanding work um, and so the show that we see is something of the kind of conversation between the three of us as judges and also about our own ways and intents about making work. One never knows what the dynamics are going to be in a small group like this that you come into. I didn't know either of the other selectors beforehand. So the, I think the first day I was a bit nervous of them, uh, but that didn't last long. So I think we had quite a, quite a laugh and a, and, a, and a good time. And we had several disagreements. And I think everybody had the good humor to come to a compromise uh, without things getting kind of very ugly along the way. That didn't happen. So I'm, I'm delighted to be a part of this group of selectors. They were, it was great to work with both Heather and Helen.